What's going on guys? Chad here with Green Light Shooting. We've got another belt video for you. Today we're talking about the Crossbreed gun belts. Now, Crossbreed is a pretty big name, mainly renowned for their holsters, which include like a leather backer and a Kydex holster. So I didn't know they made belts until just recently. And uh, I've got to say, man, these things are serious. Now they have a couple different designs. So uh, we've got the Founder Series belts, which are kind of their highest end, their, their fanciest, their kind of their best looking, in my opinion. Uh, we've also got the Classic Gun Belt, the Executive Gun Belt, Crossover Gun Belt. Uh, they've got Riggers Nylon Belts, Western Gun Belts, Nylon Belts. Um, they've got a couple different designs of their crossover gun belts, like a, a thin blue line. Um, they've got a Velcro one, and they've got a ladies reversible carry belt as well. All these belts are mostly ranging from like anywhere from $50 to $100. Those nylon belts are significantly less expensive. They're obviously good quality belts. I mean, these ones specifically are going up to 100 bucks. These, while they do still look very stylish, they've got just this plain uh, buckle. They're robust, man. These things are like, they're thick, they're heavy duty, they are, are meant for serious work. Um, their website says that you, know, that you can uh, wear it with formal wear or working out in the woods. The Founder Series belts here uh, feature a seven ounce outer layer made of 100% vegetable tan leather with no dyes or lacquers. The hides then have natural oils and towels applied under pressure, giving each piece of hide a unique and distinctive appearance. They range from dark chocolate brown to lighter tan with contrasting grain. The natural oils accent the grain and structure of each piece, resulting in a beautiful holster or belt that can withstand moisture, sweat, and environmental conditions. Also aid the leather in forming to your body when worn, resulting in a very quick break-in period. They're, they're very high quality leather. They're very, very well made. Uh, the stitching is all on point. The thing just feels like a very, very high-end belt. So like the last video uh, when I mentioned Core Essentials ratchet system, so it kind of takes away holes completely, this also has a very innovative take on, on how to uh, secure the belt. So you you can see the buckle right here is just a flat design and then on the back you can see there's a piece of, uh, of textured like a textured metal bar that goes back and forth here and that bar is kind of at an angle so what you're doing is you're threading this piece of the belt through just like that and then when you bring this bar this direction uh, that bar actually digs into the bottom side of this belt so that it can't go anywhere and it actually holds its plays very very well uh, kind of the more you pull it the tighter it gets kind of thing um, and it works really well then when you need to take it off uh, super simple you just take both sides of the metal bar pull away and then the belt comes right out so it is a super slick setup uh, the the downside if there's any downside I will say that it's I mean it's a thick belt so if you're planning on wearing this as sort of an everyday kind of thing it's a little too cumbersome for me if I'm being honest the entire the belt weighs like 1.1 pounds like it's a sturdy thing. Um, but when you thread this through and then you lock it into place, like you can see how thick that is and uh, depending on your belt loops and stuff, you know, it's going to be stretching your belt loops a little bit and it's just, it's going to be noticeable that you're wearing it for sure. It's not a belt that kind of camouflages into your everyday wear. That being said, if I'm going to go out to the range and I'm going to do like a, you know, a big gun video or something where I'm drawing it a bunch and I'm reholstering and I'm switching to an AR or whatever, uh, and I want to have a gun belt that is just as rigid and solid and, and steady as it gets, this is the belt that I'm going to wear. So to kind of recap a little bit, I guess, between this and, and the Core Essentials, the last video, I think the last one, the Core Essentials gun belt, specifically their leather belts, are, are a little better for EDC. They're a little lighter. They, they, they blend into your everyday wear a little bit easier uh, while still being sturdy enough for like a concealed carry. These belts, I think, are, are intended for a little bit more serious use. You know, if you're at the range, like I said, running drills or something, these are the belts that I'm gonna wear every day. So yeah, if you are looking for a very high-end, very well-made, beautiful, but incredibly sturdy gun belt. Look no further than Crossbreed's gun belts. These things are fantastic. They live up to it. They feel like a hundred dollar belt when you're holding them. Man, this thing's gonna be with me for a lifetime. So, uh, fantastic investment. If you're interested, uh, I have the link down in the description below, as well as pinned as the top comment down below. So yeah, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know what you think of the Crossbreed belts if you tried them out down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. We'll see you next time on Green Light Shooting.